Okay. I'm not going to be in camera because who wants to see me when they can see Maximus? Maximus is, gosh, he's maybe six months old. He's a baby, but he's 80 pounds now. When I last saw him about a month, uh, maybe two months ago, I was training him uh, basic obedience. So he was starting leash walking. He developed a pretty good place command. He's got a down stay. He's got good recall, um, all the things. But what he doesn't really have yet, there he is, good boy, is impulse control. And that's, uh, that is something that we often forget when we are trying to develop better habits with our dogs. We think about what exactly is the behavior we don't want to see and how can we correct it or redirect it or, um, or teach them a different way to respond. So, for example, Max is not leash reactive, but he does love dogs and people. And when he sees dogs and people, he'll start to kind of do this growly, growly talk. Sometimes he'll bark. And when he does it, it scares the bejesus out of most people. So we want to teach him and help him start just developing um, the mental habit of not always doing the first thing that pops into his head. He's like a person who just says the first thing that comes to mind. I want to start working with him just doing things where he has to not do what he wants. He has to just wait and control himself. So he's got, as I said, uh, he's got a, a pretty good place command. So here's what we're going to do. This is one way to work on impulse control. Max, place. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Now, I'm not rewarding him. I'm not giving him treats because he knows the place command. We, uh, I phase out treats when a dog knows a command. So, he's sitting there. He looks like he's a big lazy boy, but he actually moves like a panther. Now, I'm going to take... Uh, uh, there we go. There's one example. These are his favorite treats. They are the Zooks Little Lynx, Sausage Lynx. Mmm, he loves them. And I am going to spread these about. This is also a way that we proof Max or any other dog uh, when we're teaching them place, that they don't get to break until we release them. So I'm going back to this, something he used to do back in the day. And I'm not giving him a command. He knows, now it's important to to differentiate Max from some other dogs, he knows the place command. He knows that it is his job to stay put until he's released. Uh, with other dogs who are learning, you can still do this to help teach them. But what I'm doing with Max here is I'm just putting him in a position of having to make the choice that he knows he's supposed to make of not just following his natural instinct to jump and get a sausage link. So I am both proofing him, ah, ah. yeah. So I am both proofing him and tempting him. It strengthens his place command for sure, so it's a, uh, I'm double dipping here, but it also helps with his impulse control. Now again, remember, he has a good place command. Uh, he's wild weenies with Stella and Chewies. He's a, uh, He's a hot dog sausage kind of guy. Closer. Up in the ante. So when we do this, we could just give him the release word and let him have all of those, but that's too many for his delicate belly. But what we are going to do is leave one or two there. When I start picking them up, he's gonna, that's going to signal him that we're done, but we're not. So doing this and even having him watch me the way he's keeping an eye on me is wonderful because he's looking to me waiting for what he knows is a requirement, which is the release word, that he doesn't just get these. So I'm going to leave just one. And then when I release him, he gets to have that one that's sitting there. So really, really important that you think about not just the behaviors that, um, that you may want to modify, 
But what underlies that behavior? What is the undercurrent of some of the behaviors? And with young dogs, or even not so young dogs, impulse control can be a big factor. So how many ways can you work on that? And there will be other ways uh, that we demonstrate with Max or with someone else um, as we go along. So all right, if you have any questions, just message me. Over and out. Oh, wait, Max, break. Good boy. Okay, now over and out.